Instagram Live. We here, Atlas the Plug. What's up, what's up? J Jules, camera on camera. This guy got the yellow laces though. You know I love doing this. Dope. Uh... Spam sushi. You know, shout out to all my Hawaiians out there who fuck with the spam sushi. Production Swats wants to know how well should I mix a track before sending to an artist? Very well. You wanna you wanna make you make sure your your songs are polished. I don't care if it's a beat, I don't care if it's a demo. There's no scenario where it's okay to show someone a shitty quality song. Unless it's like your friend who is maybe co-producing it with you and you're like, hey, here's like a rough idea of a song that I started or like a, a beat that I started. I want you to finish it off. But other than that, there's no scenario ever where it's okay to play a shitty quality beat or a shitty quality song. So again, just it's obvious, like make sure your shit is clean. Styles85 wants to know if I was trying to gain a following, would it be a bad idea to dis able comments on all posts if I wanted to do so and why? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of disabling comments. You're experiencing like this huge movement of just negativity. I think that would be a good time to like wipe out the comments for your own sanity. But if you're an up and comer and you're trying to build a buzz, like there's no reason why you should be disabling comments. I think that's the craziest thing you can do. Yeah. You, if anything, you should do the opposite. You should be on your Instagram or your YouTube or your Twitter and you should look at every single person that talks to you and you should reply to every person. Mm -hmm. Von Sway wants to know best place to network for songwriters. Best place to network is, it depends on where you live. You know, like go to places that you know you'll run into like-minded people. I think you should definitely go out of your way, or in fact, you have to go out of your way to discover different venues and different places you can go to where you'll, you know you'll meet people that are just like you. So if you're a producer, put yourself in a music producer's shoes. Where are you, where, where do you go? Or if you're looking for a rapper or a singer, uh, think about your city and where you live and think about like the different places that you think these people would congregate to. And then you just do research and find out where they are and just shoot your shot and, and, and go and, fi and find out, try to get in the mix. Juice Fox wants to know, what are some tips to bringing out from an artist what you want for the song? Um, going for it. Trusting your instinct, not being an asshole, getting to know the artist. You know, the the more, the deeper of a connection you have with the artist, the more open-minded they'll be and the more kind of open and fun the process will be. You know, if, if you're not in there having fun, it's just, what's the point, you know? So when you get in there with an artist, just get into this space where you guys are having fun. Because once you guys are having fun, everyone's more open-minded. Everyone is more open to criticism, changing certain things, certain words, you know, and you as a music producer, you have a little bit more freedom, a little bit more control, a little bit more open-minded to like the collaborative effort in the room. So as long as there's no like tension or awkwardness and everyone in the room is just having fun, then you can really just start. It'll make your job easier being a producer. Uh, so there's like three people asking about John Bellion's album. It's amazing, it's fire. I heard the whole thing top to bottom, it's fire. Um, you guys are gonna love it. I can't wait for it to come out. Um, it's his best work to date. Uh, what are your thoughts on putting beats out for exposure at the risk of getting ripped off? Should I even worry about it at the beginning stage? <clears throat> You're gonna get ripped, if you get ripped off, you get ripped off. This is what I say. Um, you gotta, you, you gotta put the music out. And, and one way I look at it is, if you put a song on SoundCloud or you put a song out or a beat and someone steals it and it goes viral, right? Like a big artist takes it and it fucking blows up. Then if you have the song copywritten or you can prove that you made it or created the original idea, then you have a hit song in your hands. All you have to do is just sue or um, reach out to the party that stole, apparently stole your music and work out a deal. You know, hire an attorney and work out the numbers and, and, and do it that way. You know what I mean? So um, 
don't worry about stuff getting stolen. Like if you put something on SoundCloud and some struggle rapper steals it, steals the idea, and then they put it on YouTube and shoot a video and they get, you know, 500,000 views on YouTube, no one gives a fuck. People have stolen my ideas. You know, like I have beats ripped on YouTube, people shooting videos to my boom trap shit on SoundCloud. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? I don't care. Why should I care? What, what, how will that help me? I have one of two options. Either spend my time and money and energy reaching out to do a takedown notice or to, to sue them, which is a waste of time because they're not popping and no one cares. Or two, co-sign them, which I'm not going to do. You know, so it's, it's, um, it's a wild, wild west out here. You know what I mean? But you just got to do what you got to do. Do you adjust stereo width on anything? If so, how? Yeah, I use a program called Stereo Delta. Um, exactly how it's spelled, Stereo Delta. So it's basically like a stereo widener where you can really just like on the fly adjust the uh, stereo field or the stereo feel of an audio track. So um, I like using that. What's up? No, no, go ahead. Oh, I like using Stereo Delta on like mono tracks uh, to ha give them that like wide feel. So like certain hand claps or snaps, I'll use it on. Um, sometimes I'll use it on like instruments, but overall, just something you need to fuck with. Like it's very simple. It's very, it's one knob where you adjust the width of your uh, stereo feel. And uh, that's it. So Stereo Delta is, is a really good plugin. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Hasman wants to know, you ju he just started his BeatStar page promoting and working trying to sell beats. How long did it take to start making money consistently? Well, when I was back in my day, um, now when I was selling beats in that style, you know, just in terms of like selling beats, you know, at a lower price point to like independent rappers and stuff, like um, I didn't have a website like BeatStars. I didn't have like a beat selling website to use. It was all just done like through my email. So um, I think it would be a little difficult for me to answer your question because the way that stuff moves now is a lot different than it was back then. But what I will suggest to you is that, you know, a platform that allows for you to sell beats, it could really work well for you. Um, you know, you would take advantage of the type of traffic the website receives and just customer service, you know what I mean? Like if you're selling beats to independent rappers, like customer service is everything. Like don't be a dick. As frustrating as it could be dealing with like, you know, independent artists sometimes, sometimes you just have to like swallow your pride and bite the bullet and, and, and just, you know, do what you can to make sure they're satisfied. So the independent beat selling game is very much a, a selfless, thing where you're prioritizing them because you're really doing it for the money, right? Like most uh, transactions are money driven. It's it, give me a hundred dollars for a beat. I don't really, um, you know, if, if you're a good artist then amazing, but if you suck, I'll still sell you the beat and we could just part ways. You're happy, I'm happy, cool. So it, it sort of becomes a transaction. And so the type of baggage that you get with that is you know having to do customer service and having to accommodate uh the artist and the person buying your beat so you know just keep that in mind i would say customer service put the customer service first make sure your uh your customer is happy with their purchase and then keep it moving from there what do you look for in order to collab with an artist um what do i look for to collaborate with people just Goosebumps, man. Like, there's so many different things that have to happen for me to want to collaborate with you. Like, first of all, the music just really has to speak to me. I have to just really dig your vibe. Pause, like, I wanna, uh, there, there's this like X factor that I really can't explain. You have to, you know, you have to have open communication. You gotta be open-minded. Um, you have to be creative. You know, it's all those things on a surface level, but then there's these like under surface level qualities that I can't really put into words. Um, and I think those are more like of the deeper, like, you know, right place, right time, uh, the goosebumps thing where uh, I need to have goosebumps when I hear your music. 
I do give a fuck about the music when I discover it on my own, right? And, and I do feel like there's people out there who also function on that kind of frequency where it's like, listen, like I, I'm a fan of your music, but I just, I was able to discover your music on my own terms. Maybe there was a, a random playlist on Apple and your song came on and I heard it and I was like, yo, who is this? Or maybe I'm like browsing on SoundCloud and all of a sudden your song cues up next randomly and I'm like, yo, who is this dude or this chick? You know what I mean? Like, let me reach out. So that's my preferred method of like finding artists is like I, I'm, I enjoy finding talent sort of like on my own terms or like if say Atlas or Josh, if one of you guys like recommend a, a song to me or a new artist, like I'll listen to it, you know? And I do believe that most people function in that way where they need some kind of like co-sign or recommendation from someone. And that's just, that's just the reality of it.